Well guys, welcome back. Another sovereign citizen and he's out filming police now. One of those guys that don't have to follow the laws. Well, I don't I don't get it guys. Um he's got his kids with him. And he's he's carrying carrying on like this in the car. I, I can't get over it why he would bring the kids in, in into this type of stuff, which is really sad. You know, um hopefully they don't learn from their dad and they they learn to respect the law. I've taken this video guys and I've shortened it down. It was really, really long video and uh, I've shortened it down and taken the kids out of it and all that type of stuff the best I can. I do apologize about the video quality. Um, it's terrible. I mean, like I said, this guy's camera's all over the place and let's get into the video. You guys will enjoy it. Is he doing things? I I'm recording. I, I That's can fine. Record. You can record all day long. Yeah. I'm recording okay. too. I need you to grab your driver's license, okay. registration, and proof of insurance. I don't have a driver's license, I don't have a registration, and I'm not required to have a driver's license or a registration. And you don't have an ID card on you? I do have an ID card I on you. I will take your ID card, please. And I apologize for any, for speeding, just trying to get the kids to You apologize for what? For speeding, just for trying speeding. to get the kids to Okay, well I appreciate your apology for speeding. So confirm you do not have insurance on this car? Yes, I'm not required to for, this is my personal automobile. Okay, so by you saying yes, you mean no, you do not have insurance yes. on this car? Yes. Okay. I've been through and it a couple times. this vehicle is not registered at all? Uh, no, I've been through it several times. And How long yeah. have you owned this vehicle? For about almost two years now. Two years? Yeah. Okay. My VIN number is up there. I know your VIN number is up there. I'll okay. check it here in just a minute. Okay. Did you buy a private party or? Yes. Okay, all right. What if I seven check it in? And a traffic and infraction is a crime? Traffic infraction is a civil infraction for which I can stop you for. Okay. It's probable cause to stop you. William Adam Union, Lloyd Frank 7, 8 Edward 4, 7 Adam 1, 17095. Also, driving without license plates or a registered vehicle on a public roadway is also a yeah, traffic infraction no, I, for which I can stop you for. Yeah, that's if I have a license. I've been working with a judge on what's, okay. what's going so on. Okay, so that's your opinion. However, it's an incorrect opinion. It's the Constitution. Okay, give me just a minute. I'll be right back with you, Sherman. I need the officer. Can I play your phone? Oh, you can wait for a second. To you. The registration expired. Yeah, last year in uh, yeah. July of 2022. And I learned my constitutional rights, so I'm not going to be getting it registered. Oh, that was when you learned your constitutional yes. rights. Gotcha. Okay, perfect. All right, so I'm issuing you several notices of infraction. The first of which is for speeding 10 miles an hour over the speed limit. The second is for expired registration over two months. The third is for operating a motor vehicle without proof of insurance. Okay. The fourth is for no valid operator's license with a valid identification. And the fifth is operating a motor vehicle without license plates. Okay. You have 50, uh, sorry, 30 days to respond to district court. Address is right here. Four options explained at the top right-hand corner. Make sure you read through each one of those. And my uh, my constitutional rights of freedom of travel is my opinion. Is that what you were saying earlier? I'm sorry? My 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 constitutional rights... I'm not rights saying your good. constitutional rights are your opinion. I'm saying the way that you view them is view them. your opinion. Okay, and... Not fact. Okay. So, so there's your driver's license so back. I, okay. If you don't have a valid driver's license, don't okay. drive. Take care and drive safe. Care. Well, care. okay. First time I got stopped. Every other time I've got stopped, they respect so my constitutional rights. So I have a supervisor right. here coming to talk to you. Okay. You are not to drive. If you drive again, I'm going to stop okay. you. Okay, I will wait for ticket. him right here. Perfect. What's your guys' uh, badge no, My number? name's on the ticket. Okay, and what's and your badge My name is Deputy Spencer. Okay, and you guys are not holding up the Constitution or you the oath to hold up oh, the Constitution? Oh, I have pulled the Constitution every single day of my life. Okay, so then you're violating my I believe my that you are incorrect on your assumption of what the Constitution And you're not says. doing your due diligence to educate yourself? Well, I know. You're doing the due diligence to not educate yourself. Okay, well... Okay. Okay, I have a sergeant coming to talk to you. Thank you. Now they're telling me that I can't drive when I have every right to travel. Every right to travel and threatening under arrest, which is illegal. I have every right to travel. I'm traveling. Do you understand what I just said? Yeah, I'm traveling. Perfect. That's the Constitution one. Mm -hmm. This is the Constitution one, too. This is the Constitution Driving and traveling, there's a difference. And that's what you guys right. are not understanding. And if you'd like, I mean, right. I so, gotta get my kids to school. Right. And so, so, so here's what I'm gonna tell you. Is what you're providing me right here, this is something, this is somebody's opinion. 
No, it's not. Absolutely I pulled it off not. of your guys' site. Right. This is somebody's opinion on what they believe the law to say. Right? But what I'm telling you is that 4620 requires driver's license. That's for a driver's license. Correct. Yeah, that's for a driver's license. I right. don't have a driver's and license. This, right. And this state requires you to have a driver's no, license doesn't. to operate a vehicle. No, Absolutely doesn't. does. Yes. Okay, can we look on the computer and can you educate me? I don't need to look in the computer. You know, I've, been, I've been doing this for 26 I know, years. Super, I know, and that's the thing. People are not stretching so, their rights and stuff and they're just letting them allowing to have it. I'm not. And here's doing the it. thing I understand that you want, to, you want to, to say that you're using your right of the Constitution to travel and not have to be inhibited by law and everything else. I get it. Right? This isn't the first time I've dealt with this, and it's not the first time I've heard it. And you guys are not educating yourself on it. That's what I I'm am, saying. I am very No, educated. you're just educated on what you've but, been taught and what, what you're, you're doing, not being retaught. What re-taught. you're doing is you're taking... One, when's the last time have you looked into this? When's the last time have you looked what, into this? When was this? the last time I looked at the law? No, I have you looked into the traveling, the right to travel? When's the last time have you looked into the no, right because, to travel? because I am a Washington State police officer. Revised under the Washington... Which right. under revises under the Constitution. I enforce the laws of the state of Washington. Which is under the Constitution. Washington revises under the Constitution. Washington can be more restrictive than the Constitution. No, it can't. Absolutely, it can't. Not you, for may, traveling, may, not for may, my rights. Maybe you should educate yourself because federal law is the base standard, right? Okay, so what Correct. do I need to do? Do I need to call a lawyer? Is that what I need you so can, I can absolutely leave? Absolutely, you can call a lawyer. Okay, what else but do I, I need but, to do? Because you guys cannot not, arrest me for my I'm not, private I'm not taking. I'm not taking a lawyer's opinion that you're, that you're able to drive. You, you do not have a valid driver's license to operate a vehicle in the state of Washington, from what I've been told. Are you agreeing with that? No. You're, 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 you're telling me that you have a valid driver's license. I don't have a valid driver's license. Okay. And so I'm we, allowed we to legally be, drive. We can agree that you do not have a valid driver's license. Yeah, I don't okay. need a driver's license. But you're saying that you don't have to have a driver's license have. because you're traveling. Yes. I'm traveling. you're not in commerce. Yes. Right. Point A to point B, yes. And Washington State does not recognize that. Yes, it does. Oh, my goodness. Yes, it does. It is... That is like us allowing you to violate law. We, okay, we, so we, then if I get back in my car and I travel and you guys pull me out, arrest me. So traveling is a arrestable offense? Or driving without a license is a arrestable offense? Do you have ID? No ball, yeah, I have ID. ID card. I have okay, ID. So no, it's an infraction. So it's an infraction. So I can keep driving and you keep pulling me down the road and infracting me. No arrest. I, I don't know why you would do that. Well, because you guys are infringing on my rights. And that's what I'm saying. It's not a crime. It's not a crime to drive. And that's what I'm saying. Another thing is, is that you guys are so supposed to be focused on crime, not violating constitutional rights. Well, guys, I mean, this guy's taken a situation and just made it really bad. I mean, it would have been much, much easier if he just went and got a driver's license and insurance and uh, his kids would be in school today. I don't want somebody driving anywhere close to me that doesn't have an insurance or a valid driver's license, period. You guys are peace officers. You guys are not we're, people to enforce we're, we're something just, that is... We're just enforcing Washington State law. Okay. Well, Washington, okay, State, Washington State law says okay. you have to have a driver's so license. So then, will you guys give me a ticket every time I keep driving? Because I need to get the kids to school. Either you give me a ticket one time, because I can only be prosecuted for one ticket. And and, and if I that's drive a, home... That's not true either. No, I meant for, for one issue. And one issue, if he keeps pulling me over, then he's harassing me. I'm going to sit there and drive. It's not and harassment. Then, he's, he's advised you that you're not able to drive. Correct? Okay, so... Has he, has, he, has he advised you to call a licensed driver to come get you? No. Okay, well, I'm advising you that. Call okay. a licensed driver to come drive your vehicle, and you well, can drive... No, it's my private own vehicle. I have every right to drive. Okay, you... you here's can I get thing. a different... You, you are... You are... You're not even Taking, having me look it up. No, you're, no we're I, not taking, I, I'm standing up for my I, rights. I don't, I, don't need, I don't need to look it up. Why don't okay. you need to look and, it up? I'm asking, the that's thing, the thing. You guys, you under oath, argue, you guys do you your due diligence to educate court. yourself. You can argue it in court. You can argue I know, it through the I know legislature. That. I know that, yes. But they need to change the law. And that's what I'm telling you. If you want, if you want to be law, able to say that you don't have oh to have a driver's license, then then the legislators over in Olympia need to change the law to say you don't have to have a driver's license to drive in the state. That's what it says. It and you're not even that. looking it up. You it won't even look it up. So can you look it up? Can we both go over to your car and look it up? Because I need to get these kids to school. And you guys need to be educated more on it. Follow under that. And that's what I'm saying. But I mean, it's okay. I'm not trying to, you know, ha- hassle you guys or anything. I'm just sticking my rights, stand up for my rights. But the thing is, is that I have every right to travel in my private own vehicle. I have every right for my personal property. I have every right to travel. If I was speeding... I'm sorry, you ticket me for that. I will take that up with the court. But I have every right to travel. Now, if I'm traveling so, down so let the me road... Ask, let me ask you a question. So, so you believe 
that you're allowed to travel without a driver's license. Yes. And you're telling yes. him, you're telling him that it's okay that he wrote you for a speeding ticket. So why do you yeah. have to help, why do you have to follow the speed limit? I don't have to follow the speed limit. So you can drive as fast as you want. As long as I'm being safe. Where does that say that in the title 46? I'll, I'll go through it with court and everything. Right. These are all mobile homes. Is, uh, These are all mobile. This is not a vehicle. This, this is, is not a personal I, I've, automo I've automobile. I've tried to provide you with documentation for you to read okay. and understand definitions. Okay. Okay? okay. I'm doing well, what I'm I can okay. for you. Okay. Obviously, we're at a it. difference of opinion here. Yes, I appreciate However, it. my opinion still stands that if you drive, you're going to get another ticket for driving. Okay. So you need to get... Oh, uh, this could have been solved by you getting a licensed driver to drive. I'm not, not going to do it. Okay, that's fine. And I'll, I'll write you a ticket for driving again. Okay. okay. I, I'm, then, I, I've told you before. I told okay. you again. That's going to happen. So you're you going to waste your time on a non-ticket when you should I'm be I'm not going to waste crime. my time. I'm going to sit here and write my report because this is going to be a little bit of a lengthy report. But that's what I'm saying. But you're going to focus on me taking my kids to school and pulling me over, which you're stalking me at that point. If I don't commit a, if I don't commit a crime, if I don't commit an infraction, if I'm driving just fine, you guys don't have a right to pull me over. You had Incorrect. A, so we're not going to have this conversation here anymore. All right. Okay. We've, we've we're, said I'm our gonna piece. I'm going to take the kids to school. You've said your piece. You guys pull me over. You pull me over. Okay. I'm going to take the kids to school. I'm going to take the kids to school. I got to get my kids to school. I'm being a parent right now. I understand what you're I'm saying. And I'm protecting my family from my rights. I understand what you're saying. And if you guys want to be assholes about it, then I will take every ticket that you guys want to throw at me. Okay. I need to get my kids to school. Understood. And I appreciate you guys talking with me. I don't mean to be a dick back to you guys. But I'm just saying I have my rights and I will go to court and I will hash it out in court. And, that and is I don't well mean any right personal thing against you guys. Fair enough. And, and here's what I'm telling you is that all of that paperwork you've been provided, all of the information you've yes. been provided. No. Yes. Yes. You need to you need to look at that. Say what? There might be an order for Hey, you cannot you you can't harass my passenger. You cannot harass my passenger. Okay. I'm not following you. I'm going to my, and I'm not obstructing anything. You cannot harass my passenger. There's not an order violation. Okay, well, what's your name? I don't need to tell you her name. No, but I have a legal right to investigate this part. For what? Order violation. Stay with him. I stand right here. So here's the thing. You're causing yourself more problems. Okay. I'm just right? saying. You, now you guys are fishing. You guys are fishing. We're, we're not fishing. Yes, you guys already gave my ticket. If you have a valid, you you have a valid order. My ticket. Yes, you guys already gave my ticket. So he's already been gone. Your original officer here. Now he's fishing. Do you have a valid order? A valid order? Yeah. A valid restraining order or protection order. But I wasn't doing anything for you guys to sit there and, and even start. You decided to stay here. The judge issues the order. I know, but you, now you guys are illegal not search us. and seizure in my car. He opened my door. I did. He opened my yeah, door. He can. Yes, illegal he can, search he and seizure. You can ask her a question. Yeah. After you guys fish for everything. Ticket me, then ticket me. I'm sorry, but I need so to get just, them to school. Just so I understand, you are refusing to call a licensed driver, and you're going to endanger the welfare of your kids driving without a license. No, they are escalating stuff. I'm not escalating anything. That's escalating. You're trying to make me escalate something. You're trying to sit there and fish for something. You're trying to throw more stuff on me. What, what am I fishing for? I don't know. But I'm going to sit here, I'm going to get a valid driver's license, Perfect. and then I'm going to take off. That okay. sounds good. Well, guys, that's it. This video was probably an hour and 45 minutes. I'm not exactly sure, but it was a very, very long video. I mean, like, all this could have been taken care of if he just had a valid driver's license and insurance on his vehicle. And as far as I'm concerned, these cops are really nice to him. You guys know in Canada, if you got a, if he had been pulled over for that, it's an automatic 30-day impound. His car is gone. It's, it's a privilege to drive in Canada. You need a valid driver's license and insurance, period. Um, and he, depending on how many times he's been stopped for this, he could have been brought up on some criminal charges. Uh, maybe the U.S. should start following the uh, Canadian laws a little bit more, and this nonsense will stop. Um, anyways, and I, re I feel really bad for the kids. Just imagine if he did get arrested. Those kids would be going to child, child welfare or who knows what would happen to them. They'd be crying because their dad's in handcuffs. He'd be trying to paint the cops like they're bad people when he is actually the one that created this whole situation. Pretty sad, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys down in the comments, and I'll see you on the next video.